Hemant Karkare, an IPS officer who was investigating the 2008 Malegao blast. He was killed by terrorists during 26-11. Or at least that is what we were told. What is the truth? Let's find out. Hi and welcome. You're watching EFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the EFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and in this video I will tell you about Hemant Karkare, the man who knew too much. Let's begin. 13 years ago, India witnessed its worst terror attack. 2611 is still fresh in public memory. Images and visuals from Taj and Oberoi hotels and CST terminal, Kama Hospital, Nariman House and other locations where terrorists slaughtered innocent people are still vivid in our nation's memory. It is apt for us to discuss a rather untouched subject of 2611 on the 13th anniversary of the attack. Hemant Karkare, Ashok Kamte and Vijay Salaskar, three of Mumbai's most important police officers, were allegedly gunned down by terrorists as they happened to meet up and rush to Kama Hospital to take on well-armed and trained terrorists. At least that is what we are told to believe. But should we? Are we sure that there was a foul play involved in the death of these three policemen? Of particular concern is the death of Hemant Karkare. A day before 2611, Hemant Karkare was restless. He was worried, almost in anticipation of a miss happening. Rohini Salian, former special public prosecutor in 2008 Malaga Blast case, met Karkare a day before the attacks. Salia said he was under unseen pressure. I told him he was a good Hindu and should do his job as his dharma. I told him she was doing her dharma and he should do his. According to Hemant Karkare's wife, Hemant Karkare was considering quitting his job as chief of Maharashtra Police anti-terrorism squad and joining some multinational firm to experiment with new ideas. Kavita Karkare, his wife said, but his dream remained unfulfilled. Why would a man who was having the time of his life serving political interest as a policeman want to quit his job? In 2018, the Supreme Court dismissed the plea of a former senior police officer of Maharashtra alleging a conspiracy in the death of former state anti-terrorism squad chief Hemant Karkare in 2611 Mumbai terror attacks. The top court said it cannot reopen the case as terrorist Ajmal Kassab's conviction was upheld and the death sentence has been executed. The plea by former Maharashtra IG SM Musharraf alleged that Karkare was a victim to some conspiracy by some other persons. Hemant Karkare was no ordinary police officer. He was by far India's most favorite policeman at the time. He was a favorite of the then UPA government. For all high voltage political cases and ones that served the purpose of the Congress government, Karkare was the man who was roped in. In 2008, the focus before the 26-11 attacks was on the Malegaon bomb blast, in which the Congress tried to spin a false narrative of Hindu terror engulfing India. Here too, Karkare was the man doing Congress's dirty job as he arrested Pragya Thakur Lieutenant Colonel Shrikant Prasad Prohit, Shankaracharya Swami Dayanand Pandey, and some Abhinav Bharat, members of allegedly conspiring in planting an RDX bomb and executing the blast that killed six. Hemant Karkare was accused of arresting individuals without evidence and torturing them in custody in the most horrifying of ways. It must be remembered that 2611 came at a time when the Congress party was trying to cook a malicious and false narrative of Hindutva terror. A Pakistani terrorist who attacked Mumbai was wearing kalavas, the sacred threads worn by Hindus, on their wrist. Why were they wearing these threads? Was the then Indian government conspiring with Pakistan to invent Hindu terror or did Pakistan take a cue from the UPS book of inventing Hindutva terror in India and decide to act independently? In either case, when it came to Hindu terror, Hemant Karkare knew everything. He was an asset for the Congress party, but if he chose to turn against them, the man would become one of UPA's biggest liabilities which could bring the then government to its knees. Is it therefore possible that terrorists did not gun down Hemant Karkare and he was taken down by his people? Hemant Karkare seems to have turned into a spent force for Congress. Being a man who knew exactly what Congress was up to, his death would have come as a sigh of relief for people in the top echelons of government back then. 